So think about it for a moment. Are you using emotional selling? Are you getting prospective prospects to like you, to trust you? What are you doing to create that emotional environment? Let me give you a couple examples. Um, I took a run the other day. I run every day. And while I'm doing a run, um, someone called me up. And this happens quite often. I always run with my uh, little Apple Watch and my little Air AirPod Pros and things like that. And someone called me up. They had a problem with the deal. And they said, can you help me? And I said, sure, I'm running. I got nothing else to do. And I helped them. That person became a client just by me taking a little time to help them with a deal that was confusing them. And it's something, and I frankly, I enjoyed the challenge. Another example, I was um, family, went to Disneyland. I'm here in La La Land, okay? We go to Disneyland and uh, we're taking a shuttle from Disneyland back to the hotel. And everybody's in a pretty good mood and we got an even better mood. mood. <laughs> I'm excited to tell this story. The uh, bus driver starts playing Bohemian Rhapsody. Everybody starts singing. It really, it, you know the song, really uplifting and everything. Everybody starts singing good mood. What do you think happened to the tip jar of the bus driver in this little short bus? <laughs> got filled up. Okay, smart moves, a lot of people. I had a waitress and I said, uh, how do you like waitressing? She says, well, I do it because I'm trying to help my kids go through college. Boom, you just went from 30, uh, 20% to maybe 30, 35, 40%. Are you using the uh, likability and trust? Are you making, are you telling the right stories? Are you using humor once in a while? Use, putting emotion into sales. It's the million dollar rule. People make immediate, business decisions emotionally. You have to make them feel good or make them feel there's some kind of catalyst for them to buy your widget, your product or service. If you can tell a story, if you can make them smile, if you can make them like and trust you, there's so many different ways. There's, of course, scarcity, reciprocity, there's social proof, all the different techniques, psychological triggers, but it's your responsibility as the salesperson not just to give a long, boring, intellectual presentation, but to create an interest in that prospect. So if they like you, do you know how much easier it is to close them? And if they trust you, it's a blank check. It's that simple. So don't just read a script. Scripts are caca. You know I was going to say that. And don't just give a boring presentation. Ask questions. Interact with people. Practice your charismatic skills, okay? Everybody knows one person. They walk into a party and they can just start talking to anybody, okay? Um, that's got to be, and that's a skill you got to work on. Even if you're a shy, I'm a shy guy. Okay, nobody believes me. But literally, I had to change. And I changed because guess what happens when you talk, when you speak to people, okay? You cannot, you cannot make everything into um, automation, okay? You can't delegate everything. I believe in direct selling. Talk to people the way you want to be spoken to. Make them smile. Make them laugh. Give them value. And you will see your sales double and triple no matter what business you're in because nobody deserves success more than you. And my name is Claude Diamond. I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. Or go to my webpage. I have a free book there. I have free 15-minute consultations. Anything I can do to introduce myself to you so we can gain that likability and trust. Take care. Thanks for joining me.